Okay, cool. Let me double check my mic here. We la da da da. Yep, we are. Okay, cool. What's going on, guys? Don't look me up here. Uh, this one's going to be a quick little video to kind of run down through the 9.22 notes for League. Uh, there's also patch notes for TFT, but I haven't played in a while, so if you guys want me to do a rundown of my understanding of it, then let me know in the comments below. But, uh, here we are again. I have not done a patch rundown in quite some time because time and everything and I'm trying to get back into it to at least try to give you guys a rundown of what's going on. And uh, I had gotten the po or uh, I had seen what happened. And um, well, also this is the last patch um, to climb. Because November 19th is the final day that you can climb, and I aim to get to gold at least. The Victorious skin this year is Aatrox, and I haven't looked at it, um, but I had seen like a quick thing, I was scrolling through YouTube, and it's like, Victorious Aatrox, and I'm like, great! I don't really play Aatrox, so it doesn't do me any good, but hooray if I do make it to gold and get that skin. Um, I'll look at it and probably tweet like, yeah, yeah the Aatrox looks pretty good. But one that actu actually got me pretty excited was a Pulse Fire Thresh. That one looks sweet. I haven't seen the full, like, thing, but just the artwork. And I was like, wait, Thresh is getting a Pulse Fire skin? Yes. Um, but in any case, we're going to move on to this patch at hand. So first off, we are getting all the true damage skins. True Damage Yasuo, Kali, Kiana, Echo, Senna, and the Prestige Kiana. They look oh they look like they look okay. I don't really know how I feel about them aesthetically. Um like cool, Kiana's getting a skin. Akali's getting another one after she got KDA, so I don't know how I feel about that. Like she was in one group like in one League of Legends group, and then throw her into another one, like Come on. there. You could have picked somebody else. Um, Yasuo, okay. Echo, okay. Like, there are so many other candidates for skins, I don't know what is coming, if anything. Like, Thresh, of course, he's getting a Pulse Fire skin. He got High Noon, which I actually like that one. I don't own it on my live account, but I have it on PvE, and it's really fucking cool. Um, anyway. Uh, end of rank season... 2019, November 19th, right there. This is your last chance to get where you want to be, or at least out of whatever you are trying to get the hell out of. I've been trying to get the hell out of silver. This might be the only I have up until then to do it. And maybe it'll happen during my streams. Hello, kitty. Um, moving on. Champions, we're getting Senna. And I haven't been able to actually play her on the PvE because you know how the PvE is. Uh, so I can't give my input on it fully, but from what I've seen of gameplay, I'm an AD carry support main for those of you who don't know. I'm hyped. I know she's going to get nerfed from what I saw with the range that she has. <laughs> and she comes out in five days because today's the 5th. November 10th, she comes out and I'm jumping on that because yes. So if I don't get to play her on the PBE, you guys will get my reaction of playing her when she comes live. Um, and oh my god, I'm happy. That that's really cool, like concept. You have an H carry slash support, and they're both the same. So no matter what role you are in the bot lane, if you're playing center, you could be the carry, you can be the support, unless she gets nerfed and is forced to be just a support. Breathe. Um, Ash got a nerf on her W. Her cost increase. It's a, a, quite a jump, but again, it's not going to really... It'll slow her down, but she will still be useful. Um, Blitzcrank, his damage got decreased. Um, so they're nerfing the damage by 10. Like, ah, like 10 here. 15... 20, 25, 30. 
Like, it's losing a bit of damage, but I don't think it's detrimental to Blitzcrank. Because he's... Yeah, you want to give some damage to help your carry or whoever in a team fight actually put out more, you know, less damage. Or it's supposed to kind of even itself out. Um, but Blitzcrank is still going to be Blitzcrank. You're going to get hooked. And um, he's probably still going to be on the ban list um, for especially the lower elos, which is kind of what I'm giving feedback for is like the lower elo category. Um, I try to follow as much as I can for the higher elos. Um, but Blitzcrank is still tough for lower elo players to deal with. Like, the, the key to beating him and avoiding getting caught is if he fires his Q and doesn't hook any of you, you have a good amount of time to try to trade. It's between 15 to 20 seconds, depending on the level. Um, and just avoid the engage. He can speed up on you. He's got his knock up. So there's ways to get around him. And in the lower elo stages, Cat. I have back commentary. Um, it's it's still tough for a lot of players to deal with, but you're you're giving a little bit of an edge. Um, it's not going to be bad for him, but it, you're going to see a little bit of a decrease, and it's like okay. Kitty! Uh, Ivern, his bug fix. Um, he will always now dash into melee range of the target. Okay. Oh, they're all just bug fixes for him. Um, I haven't seen many Iverns at all. Come here, kitty. I will pet you. I will give you love. Um, come here, cat. Give me a second. Come here, kitty. You big, you big fluff. You're a big fluff. Um, some nice little bug fixes for Ivor. I haven't seen him at all in the lower elos. Like he's not played much. A lot of lack of knowledge of mechanics, maybe, or they just don't think they just want to go for like the easy climb, something like that. Um. Kaisa, her missile damage after first hit got decreased, so the multi-hit missile damage has dropped a little bit. Um, her late game, okay. And um, that kind of helps, because, yeah, she could clear waves pretty damn quick. And if you aren't playing Caitlyn or anybody that can really mow the lawn of minions, you're going to have a bad time. Um... Callista's getting a buff, which helps, because I used to play Callista when she came out, and I was enjoying her. She was very strong. Then they changed her. She got nerfed out of existence, and she's slowly coming back. So maybe I'll start playing Callista again. Um, that's pretty sweet. She's getting more bonus damage with marked targets, so it's going to want you to mark them more. Okay. Um, Kale. Again. Uh, decreasing Kale's laning power so she's more vulnerable. If you are not God Kale, you're, you're just... This is worse. This is going to be worse for you. Like You need to be really good at Kale to get ahead to then snowball, because if you... Like this, like this right here... Putting her down a little bit more. Um, you're, it's just going to be, we're going to be seeing a lot of Kales that are going to be like 0 and 6, depending on what they're up against. Um, or more than I've seen, because oh, there's there are very few good Kales that I've seen. Um, and this is just going to make it harder. But then you have the good Kale, so this actually makes it a little easier to deal with. Um, so it's like, yay! Oh! Um, the ratio for Malphite's ultimate has dropped. Okay. Um, Earth 
Malphite, like, just dropping that ult and watching, like, the squishies become flat pancakes. It's kind of funny, but they're dropping it down a little bit, so it's just going to be more of a tank Malphite that we're going to see a lot of. They're in a good place. The AP rock. Yep. He, he, that kind of helps. It, it's still going to be strong, but it's not going to be like, oh god, I'm just going to get one shot every damn time. Close, but okay. Not too bad. Uh, Nautilus. Oh, oh no. What did you do to my boy? Primary turret base. Primary target base damage decrease. Oh. That kind of sucks. But at the same time, that's more. Oh, I'm not worried, in all honesty, because I play him mainly as a support. So I don't want to be, like, I want to dish damage, but I don't want to be, like, the carry. Like, I'll, I'll be a carry, or I can get my carry to carry, and then I just be the, the, the co-carry, or, you know, backup. Um, I play him to engage, and I have two Nautilus games. One of them was a live game commentary type of deal. Another one I should have recorded. It was last night. And me and my one good friend Kyle were playing together and we decimated the bot lane as Vigar Nautilus because my pulling in would root them. It would give Vigar's cage time to spawn. So we were making the enemy team not move for quite a while. It was a stun lock. Um... So I'm going to figure out how to do that one. Either I could just upload the video and put some form of music behind it or try to be like, you know, this is where we saw, like, this is what I saw and how it was capitalized on. Something like, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, yes. <laughs> it, it Nautilus did some damage, but at the same time, I'm not worried because I'll still be able to set up. And that's what I do as a Nautilus support. I will set it up for my opponent to dish the damage. I just add a little extra zing, a little extra, you know, salt in the wound. Because I will hit, try to hit them with all my abilities. I will stun them. I will root them. I will slow them. Knock them up if I have my ult. You know, it's... This doesn't really hurt me or anyone else who plays him as a support. He's still going to be top. Um... Pantheon, Q minion damage reduction increased, execute threshold dis... Oh, okay. Yeah, Pantheon, if you did pretty well and you threw that spear, you were killing people really quick. So you're, you're kind of... Okay. And Pantheon's dash speed is no longer increased from boots. Oh, okay. Sejuani, base AD, health regen growth. Oh, they gave her a little bit of love. We're going to see some Sejuani. I might be one to play her. She's she, For some reason, if I play like a support or a jungle, if I play tank, I'm, I love it. I do pretty well. Unless I play Hecarim, it's like a hit or miss. Either A, I'm going to be having all the kills, or B... I'm going to die, but give my team all the kills. Um, her pass is now properly resets as debuff duration went up. Ooh. And her damage went up a little bit. It's the same at rank 1, but when you go up, it goes up a little bit. Okay. Yes. Sejuani? Good. Bring her back. She's really fun. Um, I also play her sometimes if I, if I feel so bold. I will play her support because her tankiness is really fun and then all of the CC that she has really helps. Um, especially depending on who the carry is because if we do like a double melee bot lane, you have lockdowns for days. Um, so yeah. If, also, if you do want to see me play Sejuani support, I'll do it. Let me know in the comments below, and I will gladly play it. Um, 
Silas, his regen, max or magic resist increased. So they're bringing Silas back a little bit. <sighs> Health regen up, all that, but his W cost decreased. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a buff for Silas. Hello. Okay, so we're going to see some Silas. That's going to probably hurt. And thank you. <laughs> like, I haven't played Zaya lately. I probably should have. But now her hyper carry potential has dropped. Good. Because there were some Zayas that were questionable as to how strong they could possibly be. One of my games on stream was like that, where Zaya just got hella fed, and I couldn't do a damn thing. I also had a support that just was not supporting, um, and let her get fed. Um. Oh! Hey, they fixed a bug for Caitlyn, because there's been times where that happened to me. If her target dies before Caitlyn's energized, rapid fire, or static... Passive headshot hits them. She will no longer be damaged in their stead. Yay! Good! Thank you! Orin's second call now knocks up enemies close to it. Powder keg never tr will no longer trigger his... Tr that did that? There are things I did not know. Oh my god. Um, Alright. Quite a few bug fixes. Now our cool or Q cooldown goes okay cool, and then we have our upcoming skins and chromas for all of that. So yeah, that's this last patch for the season in a nutshell. And my God, that's gonna change a few things. Probably not too much in the lower. Nautilus is still gonna be a top support next to Leona and Pike. Um. Zaya nerf, that's good. Kaisa nerf, that's good. Um, sucks for those who play it, play them, but that's fine. Uh, it was bound to happen anyway. They were putting out quite a bit. Um, yeah. Sejuani's coming back. That, that works. I could probably play her in the jungle and actually play jungle as well. And not just play bot lane all the time, even though I love playing it. I still suck at jungle in comparison to a lot of champions and stuff like that, but um, if there's anything I did miss or if I misexplained something, then I apologize as well, because uh, there are still things I try to like describe and understand from my experience that I may have missed or misexplained things, so um, correct me if I'm wrong on different things. Um, and yeah, have fun this season. Well, for the rest of the season. I really need to shave. This is getting long. Longer than I want right now. Uh, I don't really care for the no-shave November. Um, you also can't forget no-nut November. Or, yeah. Um, so, uh, if you also, like I said before, if you want me to play Sejuani support... Let me know in the comments below. I will try it and see if I can still do it and uh, just have fun with it. But um, I will wrap this up here because I've pretty much said everything I could and wanted to say for this update. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video or any other videos I put out, that like button, just give it a nice little boop. Ring the bell so every time I upload a video, you guys get notified that I've done it. And um, also follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. It's all in the descriptions below. And um, there will also be another video this week for Nautilus support. Um, I have two of them. I have one that I did live, and then I have my other one, which I'm going to figure out how to do post-game commentary, if you want to see that, because it was really fun. Nautilus Vigar's bot lane are, was really oppressive, and probably, in some cases, the term degenerate. So, yeah. Anyway, take care of yourselves, have fun, happy climb, and um, peace out. <laughs> Donut out.